Sitting before Committee Chair on Public Safety, Senator Chris Barnett, were officials from the Department of Corrections. The oversight hearing was called to allow them to speak regarding recent media headlines involving the agency. Director Fred Bordalio Jr. started things off with prisoner escapes, noting its importance because DOC's main mission is to keep the people of Guam safe from those who are serving time and making sure they're secured. Since I come on board, I want to compliment my security force and the leadership who are doing their best with the situation that we have in terms of our manpower, which we're always striving to increase every budget year. Berdayo said that since coming on board in August of last year, they've been able to prevent two escapes and an escape from a hospital of a detainee seeking medical attention. And last month, there were two more escapes, but both were eventually recaptured. We always let our security force know, do the best you can do, be vigilant, and we'll, we'll take the hits when it comes, you know, and uh, learn from those lessons. And I just want to share the uh, uh, people of Guam that people have been held accountable for some of these actions. And I believe the inmates that escape are going to be held accountable too because we have a good working relationship with the Guam Police Department and the Office of Attorney Generals. Before the oversight hearing on Tuesday, Barnett made a surprise visit to DOC's Manila facility and saw where the pair of inmates were able to escape and noted one corrections officer supervising about 78 inmates and detainees. It's not normal for a 1 to 80. We want more than that, and that's why we really need your support, the Guam legislature support, and of course the governor and lieutenant governor to increase our recruitment, which is going to be indicated here, recruitment of more corrections officers and security staff uh, to uh, ensure that that ratio, uh, you know, it's, it's not one to 80, but we can have about four or five corrections officers present with that large amount of an increasing population. According to the director, both facilities are overpopulated. That's a situation that we're going to have a conversation with the judiciary and with the Office of the Attorney General because um, the more these individuals are held, especially if they pass one year, they haven't been the trial, the more it creates that situation. Jonathan Charfris, KUAM News.